Hi, in this presentation, we will be covering the protosome known as squid. Squids are considered invertebrates due to their lack of a spine. They are also considered to be the most advanced invertebrate due to a closed circulatory system with three hearts dual circuit circulation, having well-developed eyes, being the most intelligent invertebrates, and being dioecious. They are also one of more than 300 species of tinned arm mollusk, and they are found in coastal and oceanic waters. As you know, the common name for this protosome is squid, while the scientific name for this protosome is decapodiforms. Now onto their natural habitat. Squid live in intertidal estuaries, which are ecosystems within the substrate between high and low tide, exposed to and flooded by tides. Their natural habitat is both coastal and oceanic waters, and they are found mainly in Southern Australian waters. When it comes to feeding for squid, they use the 10 tentacles they have. Within these 10 tentacles, they have two longer feeding tentacles, which are curled underneath them. These longer feeding tentacles are covered with four rows of suckers. In the picture to the right, you are able to see the rows of suckers found on the tentacles, which allow the prey to be suctioned to them. You are also able to see a zoomed in version of the suckers that depicts how they have grooved hooked suction to ensure that they capture their prey. Once their prey is located, they are able to quickly uncoil these feeding tentacles to grab their prey. Once the fish or crustacean is obtained, they are able to move it towards their beak and begin feeding. Squid feed on many different sea creatures, which include polysate worms, smaller larva fish, shrimp and other crustaceans, and even on other squid species. While squid can take on a size as big as 90 feet, they are also seen as prey. Some of these predators include the gray-headed albatross and the sperm whale, which is the largest of the toothed whales. They are also seen as prey to large fish, such as the toothed fish. However, when placed in front of a predator, they are able to squirt out a dark purple ink to cloud the view of the predator, giving it time to escape. Some unique traits that they have is their ability to change color to hide from predators, while also hiding from prey to attack. Some squid also use bioluminescence to create light. As mentioned before, some shoot ink to cloud the water to lose predators. And lastly, a special trait that squid have is their strengthened internal shell, which is composed of a horny material. When looking at the classification of squid, squid are classified as trochosomes. They fall under phyla mollusca and class cephalopoda. When looking at the tree of life, you are able to find squid in a sister taxa with snails, as captured in the tree to the right here. Squid are important to the environment because they are used as a food source to many big fish. These big fish include tuna and salmon, which are major parts of humankind's diet. Without the food and supply that they provide, then we would not be able to have this food source and it would be taken away from us. Next is the works cited page where the sources of my information are found. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you learned something different about squid today.